to all the YouTubians turning into my channel this Friday. So you guys want to win your own kawaii box? Keep on watching this video because I'm going to have a link below and you can win your own. And how it works is what they told me is that you enter in the link below in the description and then I won't know who wins. So whoever wins, they will know and they will send you your own box. I can try and find out a way who wins, but if you want to win your own box, keep watching the video and see what's inside, new things every month, and click below, enter the giveaway, win your own kawaii box like me. So today I'm actually doing a review, as you can see from the title, it is the kawaii box. It's really cute actually, and then here is like the website, if you guys want to go check it out, I will also put a link below and a little cute little logo icon somewhere here in this video. This is actually my first ever mystery box review um, and Kawaii Box actually sent me this review so I'm really excited and I'm gonna give my full and honest opinion and what it was like getting this package. First off, packaging. I can, you cannot beat it. It's so freaking cute. Um, packaging is key for me with products. I, when I see a package, I'm like, ooh, like that's mine, that's mine at the mailbox, nobody else take it. <laughs> also, um, so they were sending me this box around November 2016 and I, I wanna say that it was because I was also moving and it was also like a sponsored promotional item so that, you know, being a company since I'm not paying, you don't have to like rush it to me. Um, all I kind of cared about was that I got it and it was cute and I could talk about it and what's inside. Um, but it arrived a couple, like a week ago and it's pretty much March. I think it, yeah, it's March 2017. Now in any way or form, do not let that um, time gap ruin your judgment about this box at all or the company. Like I said, they sent it to me for free. So they could take their time. I'm just reviewing on the quality of the items inside. Also, it doesn't help that I did move and the post office has a lot of my mail I probably don't have yet because I haven't had anything in my mailbox. I've literally gotten two packages and a letter here so far since I've lived here. and So I feel like that says a lot. So do not blame the company. I did move. Post office takes forever to get things. Let's just open this box. Okay. Ah, it says... Cuteness overload tips for the unboxing the perfect tips for the perfect unboxing document share smile. Another thing that's really cute is that they have their own wrapping paper that says Kawaii Box on it, so that's really cute. And as we open it, oh look at all these goodies! Let's do one by one. So first, I see there is a little popping cooking. I think I did one of these a long time ago. I'll put the video right here. Be prepared in this video if you watch it for some very dated editing. Okay, okay, okay. So we have popping cooking. It looks like flan. I think it's flan. I'll zoom in real quick. So I'm just gonna YouTube these instructions and probably do a video on making this because I can't read Japanese. I can only understand a few symbols and you're gonna katakana, but that doesn't mean I can read Japanese. Here's the box. Super cute. Look at the little guy. Oh my gosh. So that was one of them. Oh my god, are those orange slices? Can I make orange slices? We're gonna see how good this actually is in the future. If you guys wanna see this video, comment below. If I should make a pop and cooking with Taylor. Okay, moving on to the next item. I got this little card. This thank you from the Kawaii box. And it says November 2016 was this box, so don't you dare judge them. They they sent me some cute stuff. And I'm sure if you pay, they will send you things on time. I'm just here to talk about the awesome items. Okay, oh my gosh. I need to do more journaling or something or go back to school to use these. But these are like little, I think these are like little bookmarks. I'll zoom in so you can see it. They look like seals, penguins, more seals, happy seals, so many seals. Uh, they're called sticker marker. Peep out! It does look like they're used for bookmarking, so those are super cute. I'm kind of really happy I got these. I'm going to stick them on random things now, like, so I won't forget, like, my rent on my fridge and stuff. Let's see what else we got. Looks... Did I put my camera? So it looks like, I think this is an eraser. This makes me think of school, like, when I was, like, in fourth grade, and they had, like, a little school pop-up shop. You could buy these little eraser pens. Just keep on going. Look at all that eraser. 
it just goes right back in. So that's cute, that's really useful, especially if you do art and you draw with pencil. I'm gonna use this, so I'm really excited about this. And I like the color, it's like a nude peachy color. Yeah. Okay, so the next item we have is, oh, this is kind of cute. I might actually give this to my friend's daughter because she has a cute backpack that would match this. So it's just a little keychain. There's like two pink smiley faces and a pink whistle. And it's a little keychain, so that's kind of cute. That'd be cute on a, like, a little cute backpack. Like I said, I'm gonna give it to my friend's daughter because she'd love it. Also, these are really, oh, oh no. So it came with like a bunch of little pigtails and some cute hair clips. I mean, they're really cute. Um, I, if I did like a decora look or a fairy key eye, I can't even say it. Fairy key, key eye, key, K E I, I don't know. Slay me if you want. These would be cute for that. So they're really adorable. Let me just zoom in. There we go. So here's the clippies. And then also the barrettes, or not the barrettes. Oh my god, kill me. The hair scrunchies also match. I think this is my favorite one. I think this is my favorite one. I am keeping this. So we got a lot of plastic. A banana key! A banana key! It's a banana. Oh my god, it's so soft. This is nice. So it's not like cheap at all. Like it's actually really soft. And I think they get their items imported from Japan, or I don't know if this company is in Japan, but a lot of the items are either Korean or Japanese, and they got like little tags that are not in English at all. Ooh, what is this? Is this gonna tell me his name? Oh no, this isn't his name. This is all the banana keys you can get. Oh, it's Banana Kitty Collection. Oh, it's so cute, I'm gonna cry. These are all the possible banana kitties you could own. I got the great banana kitty. Look at him. This is a chubby little banana. He looks like my chubby kitty. Chubby banana kitty down here. Name Nanners. All right, and now we have, I think this is something to eat. I don't think it's an eraser. I think I'm supposed to eat this. So teeny. And we have an orange slice pencil sharpener. Um, I might give this to my friend's daughter too because I do not like Pencils. I hate pencils so much. Anything with pencils, I, I will use mechanical pencils. I've been using mechanical pencils since third grade. I will never touch a pencil again. The only time I touched a pencil was for like the MCAs. Is that what they're called? The MCAs? Where you have the red circle stickers and you gotta put them on the page and then the page is like kind of bubbled out and if you have OCD you're just staring at it like can I remove this red sticker and please put it on better. But yeah, um, I just guessed through most of those anyways. I don't even know how I graduated from guessing, if those even matter. Man. Don't guess on your MCAs. The only thing I looked forward to at the MCAs was the free candy they gave me like every other hour. And the juice box and the good lunch that I'd get. But that's what this sharpener reminds me of. Look, it's an orange. An orange slice. But yeah, so that's really nifty. My friend will love that I have her daughter some school supplies. And I have some Christmas stickers. Cause you know November, December, but they're still cute. I'm still gonna stick them on things. I promise that I won't vandalize property with this, like sticking it on stop signs. And we only have two more items in the box. Uh, the next one is if you like like little decoration things. This is like a Korean product from the writing I can tell. Um, it's I, it says stationery on it. I don't think it's stationary. It looks more like little miniature sets where you can make your own like cute little ice cream and miniature treats and put them on a plate. I'm probably gonna turn them into rings. Or them on my fingers have like little holes set up of desserts on my hands. So this is this product. I love how there's fat cats on everything. You can make your own treats. Ooh, I'm probably gonna use those for my nails. The glitters in there, yes. So this looks like something fun to do. Maybe I'll try it sometime and let you guys know about the outcome. Actually, another one of my favorite items in here next to the banana kitty was this pen, this cow pen. I have a pen just like this from um, Kitty Land in Japan and you press down its ears. And I used to have like ones like this in school and it's like different colors. This one's blue and red. 
So I really like this pen. I love these pens for signing my checks, so I keep them like in my checkbook. So this is really convenient for me. Plus I like how it's a cow and it has like a little milk carton on the back of its head. I thought these were coffee beans, but I realized they're his feet. Learning something new every day. So that was it, the end of the box. Now we just have like little flyers in here. Let's say, uh, get a, you guys can use this if you want to. So I might try the box again. I really liked it. It's like a mystery, it's a surprise, and you never know what you're gonna like, and you never know what you're not gonna like. So I don't feel like it's fair to judge a product on what was in that box that month, because I did get some really cute things, and some things I were like, what is this? Because I don't really do miniatures, but you know what? It's a cute box, a lot of cute products, and if you don't like some of the products in there, gift them to your friend's kids or gift them to your friend. Like, use them as small birthday gifts or stocking stuffers. So, like, I'm going to keep quite a few of the items. Um, but yeah, so you can get a 10% off discount with your next purchase. Just use this code, Kawaii Love. I don't know if it's, when it expires, you can try it. Don't, please don't quote me on this because if it doesn't work, I'm sorry because this is from November. So, boop, boop. So this is the end of my Kawhi box video. Super cute. I love the wrapping paper. Ah, look at this. See you again next month. Yes. Look at that little heart face. So that was my unboxing. My first ever mystery box ever. Thank you Kawhi Box for giving me this opportunity to do a review. I really loved the product. Um, not only was the packaging cute, um, but everything inside of it had a purpose and it kind of had like a theme. So it wasn't just a bunch of like random like what is this? And I hope also my hologram family and the new YouTubians watching this video enjoyed this video as well and found this a fun unboxing on what you could get in one of their boxes. And you want to win your own? Remember, enter the giveaway! Go down in the description. Enter for a chance to win your own and if you win, they will contact you. Do it. Thank you guys for tuning in for another one of my videos again this week. I really appreciate it all of your patience with me and support and I just, I'm gonna have a video every week. I'm going to force myself to have a video every week. I don't care if I have a dentist appointment. I don't care. No, I shouldn't say some of those things. My cat might get angry at me. I was gonna say, I don't care if it's like 30 minutes past my cat's feeding time. She won't let that happen. She won't let that fly. She actually bosses me around. But I will be here for you and I hope you will be here to tune in. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Join the hologram family, transform, become more than just a YouTubian. I will see you guys next week with a review and swatch of the Too Faced Love Light, Blinded by the Light highlighter. So come back, tune in.